started on the T side as they're doing now, and they had a great T side. The first time now they made a comeback, taking like 12 rounds in a row. And uh, yesterday TSM managed to win, but still now they took a lot of rounds as T. So between these teams, for some reason, the T side seems easier. Well, we are going to have this Execute here coming in from TSM. They've got the smoke on, on short just to cover the players up, connect them into this A play. TSM have excellent A plays, and we're going to see one of them here into this bomb site now as Na'Vi are pushing through the smoke. They do not want to get isolated. Straight in with the fast-paced action. Very high octane here on the bomb site, and lots of damage being exchanged here. It's hard to call who's going to come out on top, or if the bomb's even going to get to, to the site at the moment. It's stuck towards the T slope area as Na'Vi have successfully delayed it. And they have taken the A bomb site away from TSM despite the grenades. So he's trying to get some damage done here, sticking his neck out, and he's going to get it cut off by seized. Sorry, by uh, Dupree. So seized uh, going down there, and Flamey is the last man standing. He's just got the USP, some Kevlar, nothing else against three players here for TSM. And it's really cockier to just go out to B side all alone with the bomb. They must be like absolutely certain of Flamey's position and that they have cut him off from any rotate possibility. Uh, possible rotations. Uh, we're actually seeing the game pretty unsure here. We're sending one guy through kitchen, just trying to clear it out, but Flamey shouldn't be able to do anything, especially considering he doesn't have a diffuse kit. Okay, so he now knows it's guaranteed B, and he's got, as he said, no kit. He's got a decoy. I don't know what he's going to do with that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is a really hard... Then he's going to get backstabbed here by Carrigan. If Carrigan gets to get the shots, but finally, there it is. We'll find a Flamey in the end, and TSM will close the round. So, going to kick things off to a good start. Yeah, and those two kills by Dupree there in Connector. I think he had 12 HP. It was just, like, mm. so crucial. I mean, they had, like, one for one trace. It went to a 3v3, but two players in Team Sam really low. So, Dupree getting those two frags was basically the main factor of them winning that pistol. Oh yeah, it was incredibly close. And we've got Flamey, the only guy really to be able to make contact here. We actually do have, I think it was Guardian who's by the stairs, or Flamey, one of the two. Now, they are quite far away, so Flamey's going to get the dink there onto Cajun beat. Can't finish off for the kill though. And it's not looking too bad actually, Na'Vi getting some good damage in with this investment. But they are down to Zeus and sees the scout is still alive. Maybe Zeus can find a sneaky uh, shot here. Lots of jumping around. Wow, actually he gets the headshot onto Carrigan. Lovely stuff there from Zeus to get extra economic damage in on top of TSM. But can they get more in? Seized now has himself an SMG. Zeus just throwing those shots in everywhere with the scout. Now can he get an angle here? Onto the player at the back of the bomb site. Looks like he won't. And saving the scout is actually pretty smart here. They can definitely get another couple kills with that in the following round. And TSM is still really happy with, the with this round. I talked about this uh, earlier in the tournament. Uh, the force by the Siege does on Mirage is actually one of the harder ones to stop because there's so many good positions playing with SMGs, playing with 5.7s, Peter 50s, and even the Scouts. So I think like you win the pistol as T, but you still you don't feel like you're taking control of the, the economy before you won those like three first rounds. Okay, well, here's, here's the next one, and it's just he's with armor, so it should be easier for TSM. Now, what kind of play are they going to go with? They have, it looks like they're going to have that uh, three-pronged that three -pronged attack into A. That's kind of what the setup here kind of looks like. There's a bit of pressure towards B. But they do have the two men towards T-Slope, one in Palace. Carrigan just jumps straight out. He's really selling this at the moment. And they're going to get the kill towards A as well. So this is just excellent. And when Carrigan's going to get those frags, it just falls apart here for Na'Vi. They're going to get the kill finally, but the bomb is going to go down. They've got forward positions. They know exactly where both remaining players of Na'Vi are. So Cajun B's got... Wow! Okay, I was about to say he's got the angle, but maybe Zeus has it first. But uh, again, a couple frags. So two frags each round? Is yeah. Acceptable? Yeah. Absolutely. And just a classic anti-eco there from TSM. Just sending... Uh, um, Kerrigan out alone on the B site, just utilizing all his nades, just trying to scout for information. It really doesn't matter if he goes down, as long as he gains the information, if there's like two or three people there, because you could see the other t oh, the other players in TSM was just ready to push up the A slope. Alright, so it's going to be uh, the full buy now for both teams. Dupree's in so fast. TSM is so good at these fast plays into connector. Dupree's going to go down though, Na'Vi handling this excellently. TSM, they aren't getting onto the bomb site quickly enough, and it's going to be Na'Vi with a massive advantage now. Flamey is going to catch Cajun B. He's stuck on Tetris. He couldn't back away, and they are being completely punished here. Zitnik's going to go down as well. 
And we have a good amount of players from Na'Vi surviving. Yeah, and very solid round there from Na'Vi actually, but uh, two players going down still means you will get mana screwed if they if you lose this round, so uh, still a lot of pressure here on Na'Vi. Alright, well... Oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna be so awesome. TSM is gonna do their A execute where they actually smoke off the bench. They're gonna build a wall. Yeah, they're gonna deny that position by building a wall of smokes. Yeah, we're gonna see it here any second. It's uh, so awesome. I've been talking about this uh, since you highlighted it uh, yesterday and it's, it is really, really cool to see. Now this is, this is an adjustment that TSM are innovating with. So let's let's see the smoke come into play here. So there it is. Maybe, uh, oh no, that's oh, quite it's the it's smoke actually. It's a different round actually. Yeah. So either way, the execute does come in. We don't see that bench smoke just yet. TSM are going to be having a really hard time here. It's just device who's left over, even uh, making a team kill down with Carrigan. And there it is, the frag from Zeus. And and that that push there from Zeus through that smoke on was kind of the like threat is highlighting a smoke that they have, which denies that kind of a peak. <laughs> like through onto the bench position, yeah. so, and I, I mean that's that's what that's how uh, many CT teams are able to actually easily recover this site before the smokes have actually gone away. Yeah, exactly. And uh, w we saw them just throwing the regular smokes, uh, trying to go for a more of a like a palace kind of push by denying the peak from stairs. And uh, of course, we're gonna see an eco here for TSM. Probably gonna be an easy round for Nami. It's actually interesting because I, I can't find a, find a reason why they would never use, like if they're going to do an execute like like that. Why would they ever use the old smoke that they have? It might be an anti-strat thing. You saw they had a lot of focus to go off the pallets. Yeah. So they were like maybe they knew that there were only one guy playing the site alone, and it's a lot easier to go out palace to kill the guy on site. Yep. Because they might know that they usually don't play a guy like an off towards the ticket booth. But uh, yeah, it's really hard to know. All right, well, Device is going with fast timing onto middle, and Edward, oh, is he going to get caught? No. Actually going to jump straight onto the uh, ladder room area, and he's going to find himself on short. So this is like the fastest timing. So really nice stuff by Edward. And uh, Device actually slowly on the angle. Now, TSM finding their way onto middle. I love this four-man middle take. They can try to win some position on connector and short. And oh, Device can spot maybe the knees there of one player. I don't think he put, I don't think he's visible there. As uh, it was covered by that smoke, Edward's going to fall back into CPL. Where he's going to spot Cajun B, pop back into ladder room. So mobile is Edward in this position, really showing people how it's done. Going to catch off Dupree as well, who didn't know his position. That really shows you how powerful the silencer is, as they don't know where they're dying from. Edward, he's like a ninja in this round. Yeah, and just TSM trying to go for that standard uh, type of play in middle, just getting picked apart there by Navi. And now they're in a. Two versus four with an op. It's always this like awkward decision you have to make. Is either like do we save the op, but then we have we don't get any money and like we do the other guys by ticks and we have the op. Uh, do we just try to kill a lot of people and this seems like they are just trying to get picks here. Okay, and uh, Edward's in a really nasty position. They might not expect this. This is quite a surprise spot. And with just few, so few players left, this is disastrous. Oh, he's going to get sprayed on a one. Keep spraying and gets with the last frag with the last bullet. And that's another round there for Na'Vi. So, man, that's one of those positions you just... You, it's so hard in that spot. Yeah. Like, do, how, do you, how do you know I to check I that? I actually know NIP called that position the, the 100 percenter, but in Swedish. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's like, you will get one frag. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to see the Tech Nines here from TSM. They are going to make the play towards B here. Now, where is the smoke going exactly, actually? Is that for short? There are pillars. Wow, okay, that's a very precise smoke there for the short area. Block off the pillars area as well. Going to be uh, Na'Vi with a good defense, though, so far. It's uh, Edward who does get taken down, but he's still on the bomb site. Pulls out the pistol. Wow, gets a headshot on Carrigan as he's dropping from midair. And he's still on the bomb site, alive with 2 HP. That's pretty impressive there from C's picking up four kills and uh, finishing off with a very flashy headshot. Yeah. Navi looking good. Yeah, very consistent player from Nav and uh, yeah, as our casters or observers showing us, TSM won the pistol. They had 3-0, so it basically means that Navi won five rounds in a row right now. And uh, TSM still going for that type of standard mid play. Haven't been successful thus far, but maybe they will do it. Uh, this round. So Edward taking the longer way around this time and almost getting caught by Device. Oh my god, he's playing with fire. The Device missing another shot onto Edward and now he's had enough. He's falling back. 
but this is going to mean that there's nobody on short actually. It's going to be an easy take for TSM if they decide to do it. And that smoke, I'm not sure if it's supposed to go on that uh, double double crate there on short. But uh, it is there anyway. We've got the push from C's here all the way through the B apartments. He might just catch k b He's got the bomb. Is he going to get the angle in time? He spots him. And he should see the bomb on the radar rotating towards A, so they know 100% guaranteed it's going to be an A play, and he's going to have the backstab. They just have to delay them. They do have grenades to do so as well. Seized is able to actually... Oh, he's the, the, the man flanking, actually. So they don't have any nades to really delay them, apart from flashes. No smokes. But Seized is so close on the flank, just waiting for the distraction, waiting for them to push in to just annihilate all of them. But does he even need to? There it is. Two frags from him. Flamey and Edward coming in, they're holding on strong as well. Now Dupree as the Lurker coming in from Connector. Spraying wildly as he's blind. And it's going to be another round for Na'Vi. Again, looking super solid and always with an answer. Yeah, great play from Sister, Just pushing the B-holes, getting all the information and just seeing that guy who wrote it back in T-spawn was just the best thing that could have happened. It's like, oh guys, it's just going to be an A-push. A you can just stack three people on A. And like even if TSM got the two initial kills, it didn't matter because now they had just had them just boxed him in. And also that like pop flash they threw towards connector in the like to get that last kill is just now it's just playing so safe and so good right now. Oh Guardian getting the pick before the push comes in. And here's and the smokes. Yeah, those are the smokes that you were talking about. And they can kind of get behind the smokes, but it's still much harder for them. And we're going to see now TSM trying to actually get onto the bomb, but Na'Vi, they still want to contest this whilst the smokes are up. Not looking to wait for them to go away before going for the retake. Oh, that spray from Edward through the smoke finds Deuce. Good stuff here coming in from Na'Vi yet again, but it is a two-on-two -two TSM with every chance to take this one. Sees though, from CT, is causing a lot of problems. And Device now, he's got no cover to plant the bomb. He's got to get the frags at least onto Seized. He's creeping around the box. I don't think Device has actually spotted this at all. Seized is so silent, so deadly at the moment. Device going to be looking for Edward. Now, if Edward engages him, this should be an easy frag to Seized. And there it is. Edward gets the frag as well. But that's shot through the smoke. The spray through the smoke from Edward. Very, very nice. That's the kind of stuff you can really rehearse in offline as well. Yeah, and considering it went to a two versus two situation, that frag was actually might like round winning. Oh, yeah. And uh, nice try by TSM. I think that was actually the closest they've gotten to winning a round on the A site. So wouldn't be surprised if they try that once again. But uh, actually going for kind of a weird force buy here. I would prefer to going for a full eco or at least just buy a few pistols and having a full buy next round. So they're going to flash Flamey in. It was absolutely perfect to catch off Device. And Flamey is not going to bite off more than he can chew. Backs away. Bomb is spotted. Forcing the execute in through Connector. Dupree's actually made it all the way to jungle at the moment. He's going to be able to cut off Seize. He's going to crouch through. And that's two frags claimed by TSM. They are winning their way back into this round. And the bomb's going to rotate back. They've got all the coverage towards B. And that's going to be really painful now for Na'Vi. They've got loads of cash though. So, they, well, they might as well go for it. Why are they not rotating faster? I mean... It took. <laughs> it felt like it took way too long for Navi to realize what was going on there. Well, it's going to take a while for uh, TSM to get the bomb down, at least. And I mean, well, there's two kits on on Navi. There's there's no reason why they shouldn't go for this. They got so the much money in the bank. Bomb is now down, and the post plant positions have been taken by TSM, so they have the setup they want. Now Dupree. It's all about the peak timing here. And here comes Zeus. He's free with the spray. Zeus actually gets the better of him. This is going pretty interestingly now for Na'Vi. They are winning some position onto the bomb, but it's just Guardian left. Not enough of them surviving. He's going to have to pull out the pistol and go for it. Moving and shooting. Does manage to take down Zipnix, but Cajun B is playing the apartments. Thing. He is going to be able to kill so much time. Guardian knows exactly the situation. He's just going to get the hell out of there. Save the AWP. Oh, so close. He's actually going to damage him enough that he will go down to the bomb. But uh, again, Na'Vi with lots of money, it's not going to be a huge impact, but it will hurt. Yeah, very nice try on the retake there by Na'Vi, but uh, just too big of like advantage having a 3v3 on the after plant on B. And great round there for TSM. They usually do this on map. It's they go mid and they like they smoke off A and they try to just try to kill the rotation before they kill the guys on A. And like if they kill the rotation and just stand in CPL. They actually can cut off all rotations going to the B side, and that's what exactly what happened that time. This is a super fast round here from TSM. They got that fast smoke in the jungle from mid, and then just push straight up T slope. No messing around. 
and uh, Navi, despite there being almost no telegraph move from TSM, are dealing with this really well. They got the bodies in place now. Guardian gets the shot onto Zipnix. Dupreeze moving close now to the bomb boxes, able to shoot onto any players up the stairs and any players around CT, but he is so low at the moment. Six health. 33, but Device is not much better off. He's on 33 himself, stuck on the bomb boxes. Here comes Seized. Wow, Dupree gets the instant headshot onto Seized. That's going to help. And Edward and Guardian are quite low. See, he's made this possible now, has Dupree. But Device now, he needs to clutch. There's number one. Spots number two, gets the shot. Great stuff there from Device to clutch the round. Five to seven, TSM back in this one on the first half. And that clutch by Device was so important, especially considering Navi is forced to an eco? No, they're not. They were just waiting so long to buy. I actually thought they were gonna eco, but it seems like they can even afford an op. But very few nades here. Only yeah, we we'll have three smokes, but not a lot. zero molotovs. And it's smart of them to actually get helmets because we've got a Galil, we've got a P250, and a Tech 9. So actually having helmets is really smart here. Not cutting that corner, but oh my god, does it even matter? Carrigan with an outrageous shot there with a Tech 9. We are gonna have equalizing frags. Well, even better than that there. Now, advantage, Na'Vi. As they're able to pick up an extra kill there. But Seize is going to go down on the B-bomb site as TSM are really fast onto the push. But Na'Vi, they can get ahead of the smokes here. These nades might not do all that much. They're pushing straight beyond them. And the plant is trying to come in here, but it's not happening. Na'Vi getting excellent damage done. It's just Sipnix left with 16 health, and he's going to get caught by Zeus. Another round for Na'Vi. Again, this that could have been... I mean, TSM... They got them to that round that they could force the eco out on and get those all those rounds back on the board. Take maybe a nine six, but uh, nine uh, sorry eight seven themselves, but no. Yeah, yeah. exactly what I, I was gonna say. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like the, them losing that round is probably gonna mean Navi is gonna get. I think Navi is gonna get go to double lead it now, especially considering TSM is going for this tech buy. And if they were the one that they're gonna force Navi to an eco, or probably get eight round themselves. So. That was a huge deal. Oh, they're going for the fake here on 2A. Now, are they going to pull all the players here? There's one left there. It's going to be Seized, who's alone, towards the car. And they are going to know now there's the fake. They're sprinting back towards B right now. But they've got to get the fast kill onto Seized. He's actually holding his position. He knows he just has to delay. And he's doing exactly that, keeping himself alive. And that's a one round from Na'Vi. TSM trying to get creative. But it didn't pan out for them. And now they're... In another really bad buy situation. Seems like they're just going for the ticks, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they just went for that A execute now with the smokes. Okay, well, we have uh, a few players up to top mid here for TSM. Interestingly, Navi, I've seen them on the CT side get aggressive on mid quite a lot, but TSM are playing such a fast pace that they're adapting, and they're just playing really, really slow and passively, and that's exactly what they need to do. Navi are going to open things up with some defensive frags here from Flamey and Zeus trying to work their way through Connector. Meanwhile, Device has moved all the way up to Sandwich, does get eliminated, and Na'Vi 10-5 first half on the third map here in this elimination match for the Face It LAN finals here, live from London, England. And uh, this is going to be a tough climb for TSM. It's a must-win pistol here for TSM. It's not a must-win for Na'Vi, and... Uh Yes, think one of these teams are actually gonna go out in the group stage, so yeah, a lot of things gonna come down to this. Oh yeah, half. I mean this is very much the group of death. Death, to be honest, like VP, TSM, Navi, these three teams—they've all won a major um, title recently. So it's uh, it's hard to really say who is who is the better who the better team really is at the moment. Yeah, and uh, when was the last tournament TSM or Navi was eliminated in the group stage? Yeah, yeah. Just tells a lot about this tournament. It's been a good one, but here it is—the uh, the must-win pistol for TSM. Now they've got uh, no information just yet. I think Carrigan's going to spot a couple players, maybe even spotted the bomb, which is key information. But Seize is going to charge up through connector, takes Dupree straight down the Tech Nine, and uh, that's an A bomb site completely under the control of Na'Vi. TSM—they've got to work their way back in for the retake, but it's not looking super good for them. Carrigan, with this USP shoved in Edward's face. We're going to have to see if Cajun B can get some damage done himself. He does take down Zeus. It's going better and better here for TSM. They are marching forwards, taking no prisoners. Seas and Guardian left on the bomb site. In comes Carrigan, jumping with the Tech 9, spraying for dear life, and he will get both kills. TSM, pick it up. And it's going to be uh, and the, 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 the must win piss around one. And those two frags by King and B, Jesus Christ, they were so important. Like, if TSM would have lost this round, and especially if they would have lost the second force by, 
I mean, they're basically out of the tournament, and they're out of the tournament already in the group stage, and if you think back to when they had that, like, big lead on Overpass versus Virtus, you wouldn't think we would be sitting here and oh, right, yeah, just yeah. waiting for them to be eliminated out in the group stage. Indeed. And we see an AK armor here from uh, Navi, actually, just dropping that AK. This is 1.6 style Force Buy. Well, that is a very exciting turn of events to see Navi pull out a play like this. And it's going to be quite surprising for Navi, as, uh, sorry, for TSM to, to see this as well. They might want to openly try to peek, but that would be a mistake here against these, uh, these weapons. In goes the pop flash, it's going to miss Carrigan completely. Flamey gets eliminated, so TSM, they are holding strong at the moment. These nades not quite perfect from Navi. Now, how do they salvage this? They still have Guardian and Zeus left with rifles. Carrigan still locking down Connector. They want to connect her so badly, but they're sending player after player in there to their deaths. It's uh, Seize now who gets taken out on Connector as well. It's like a graveyard for Na'Vi players, as it's just Guardian moving around this Galil. He's got full armor, spots the frag onto Carrigan. Needs to, he needs to get more damage here. Yeah, and he can't save the Galil. He just has to go for the kills here. Now he's got 12 HP, and they've all got head armor as well. Let's see if uh, he can get uh, up close with this Galil and get a fast frag. Good angle here held by, I believe that's uh, Zipnix there with the SMG. Indeed it is. This is going to be a really tough angle. You can see he's elevated a little bit as well on that little lip, which kind of messes with the head hitbox if you're trying to turn the corner and fire shots into them. But there you go, TSM. Three rounds behind now after winning that uh, that pistol, and it's uh, it's shaping up for them. Yeah, now we now. Uh, we'll go for a full eco, of course, and uh, kind of interesting decision there. Now we're getting the plant on the pistol, opting to go for that force buy on the second round instead of for instead of going for the more regular thing where you go for one eco and you would buy this round. Uh, the thing that's so terrible for them right now is Tsum would probably win this round in uh, like without losing a single player. Yeah, and we're gonna f yeah exactly. No. None of the TSM player died, and you can see the economy now for the TSM player is just they're just building up that bank. Yeah, yeah, and this is actually the exact position that uh, Navi got into actually, and it's uh, they, they managed to get it going a little bit further, or a little bit f uh, faster. Sorry, so we'll have to see if uh, TSM can have uh, a similar spurt or growth spurt of their economy. Now Carrigan on the AWP, he's been really good with that for TSM recently, and. Uh, Zipnik's just spotting into Biaps at the moment. So we have a mid-take here from Na'Vi. No players here. But TSM has super far back everywhere. They don't even have anyone on short. No one really near connected just yet. Yeah, this is the way NI NIP played actually versus Fnatic today. I don't know what's up with this. Like, I've seen a lot of teams doing this and uh, usually they fail kind of miserably because people can just take mid from them, leaving one guy in connector. And if you look at the overview, now that's one game connector for and free. one guy and Ventrum. Yeah, exactly. Just for complete free. Connector is so important too. They can build plays off of it into A or to B. And it's looking like that's going to it's going to be the uh, A play for them. They haven't lost a single man just yet. We do have uh, three players now, as we can see. Uh, sees the straggler. They're going towards Palace here. And they've got uh, a man in CPL ready to strike as well. So four-pronged attack potentially coming in from them. There's Device, misses the shot. Now this is really important to hit these early shots. And that bomb is going to be able to go down straight away now. And the pressure is really on to TSM now. Device and Zipnix. It's going to be hard to even play with each other here. They're completely smoked off. Device missing those flick shots. Two opportunities he had there. In fact, three shots uh, missed there for Device. And it's not going to cut it here. Navi is just doing the perfect, the perfect way of punishing that defensive play. Is exactly what Navi did here. You just, you go up mid and say, okay, nobody's here. So we leave one guy connector. We leave one guy in the vent room. Yep. They can hear all the rotations. They can just call to the team as where the other team is rotating, and the, then you just go for like a simple A split because, like, as soon as you get like um, the guys in A slope get contact. The game connector can just walk out, the game Ventrum can just walk out, and you're just getting pushed from too many angles at the same time. Yeah, I mean, usually you have to fight really hard for those positions. We see TSM have some rounds with them. They have four-man mid-takes specifically designed to win those positions and get trades on them, but it's going to be uh, a bit faster paced this time around. We've got lots of action towards T-Slope. It's going to be a trade, though, which is going to help out Na'Vi. I'm just waiting top mid at the moment. Gets passed off. 
Oh, wow, Carrigan with an aggressive play on mid. And then this is the first time we've seen that from a CT side in this map because the three halves have been so fast from TSM that uh, Na'Vi played a really defensive style as well. Now Guardian still looking for picks here. Gonna get the nade into the shadow area. Not super effective that one, but uh, it's going to, going to be TSM looking to see if they can find themselves a good engagement or two. Just waiting still, and Guardian gets punished finally by Cajun B. Guardian was looking for so many frags, but Cisco straight in. He knows Carrigan was just lurking there in that corner by the stairs, and maybe Na'Vi can actually pull this one together. Now, Cajun B over towards CT spawn is a really big problem. Do they have any nades to, to, to actually isolate him? It looks like it's not even going to matter at this point. They've got a three man setup here. So he's lost his teammate. He's blind. He's stuck in the sandwich area. And he's going to get eliminated. So TSM, that was a really tense round, actually. Yeah, if TSM would have lost, I think they actually would have lost the game considering they would have been forced to, I mean, at least one eco. And see, they're still pretty low on money. So, uh, yeah, t TSM, they're in this still. But uh, Navi has a great opening now. I, I like the decision for Navi to just keep force buying here because they know they have an opportunity to just beat TSM's economy to the ground. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see now what TSM can get done if they can keep stringing these together because they're not too far behind Na'Vi now. And it's a really hyper passive again uh, opening from Na'Vi. They're expecting potential aggression, which TSM did show them up mid on the last round. They drop the bomb back a little bit. Now taking middle as the push comes in towards A from uh, TSM reacting to all those grenades tossed in by Na'Vi. Na'Vi trying to actually play with the rotation of the CTs and trying to capitalize. They've pulled them towards A a little bit. Now they're going for the short take and that's actually allowed them to have some good engagements here. Exposing these TSM players and they're getting caught between these rotations. Not sure what's actually happening with Na'Vi's movement and that's giving them a four on three. They've got the A bomb site. They have to go and collect the bomb though. So that might give some time for TSM to actually get themselves something going here, but these trades are not going to work out for here for TSM. It's just down to Cajun B now, and he's very far away. Yeah, he has to save this up, and this is absolutely disastrous for, T for TSM. Even if he sa saves the op, they can make like... Bomb has been planted. Maybe they will buy next round, but it will be like two people going for SMGs or like five sevens, and uh, I don't know what TSM can do in at this point. I think they still need to contend mid more. Maybe they should try like boosting the AWP in yeah. the event in window room because like they have to try to get one pick. They have to punish Navi for just running out in mid like that. It was actually, I mean, so it seemed like, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the idea for Navi there was to not to like get a fake onto A, but to like make it kind of look, I mean, that, that's how some fakes look. Okay, we throw those nades, we're not actually pushing it like, as you'd expect, but what it also causes is rotation. So it's as, as if they just wanted to just flush them out and just make them move from their positions. And then when they were moving up middle, of course, they now TSM are all over the place, scattered around, trying to rotate, thinking, oh my god, there's a push coming. And now they're like having to get, hurry to another position. So it seemed like that was, that was the play there. And it, I, I don't see that very often. Yeah, uh, probably exactly what it was. And uh, TSM going for the safe play, going for that eco. Can't be with that one up. Now they're going for a more standard type of play, as uh, we talked about earlier. Usually when you know they only have one AWP, you usually tend to go for a more like four people just go straight to B, or just four people just going together, not letting that AWP uh, being able to pick you apart. Yeah, they've got the stack on B, have TSM, so going for a bit of a gamble, and you have to gamble in this game, especially in a position like TSM's. Cajun B ro rotating towards the uh, ticket booth area. Toll booth. As uh, Carrigan waits in the ladder room, and he's, he might be able to hear some movement here soon. Guardian's going to reveal himself, looking for the peak. He gets the frag, going to try to pick up the AK. There it is. Doesn't have any armor to work with, but still very dangerous Carrigan in that position. Yeah, very fast headshot there from Carrigan. This is getting very interesting now because they're going to collect the bomb. There is 40 seconds left in the round. So Navi is starting to be a little bit hurried to make a play happen. Now that's great. Zeus will take down Carrigan. Really important, but Dupree put himself in a trade position. He's going to be able to pick up the AK as the push comes in into middle with the bomb, leaving themselves the A or B option as the rotation from TSM happens. And that allows Navi to cap capitalize, move to the place that's safe. Oh no, Cajun B missing a really crucial shot. But the bomb, it needs to get across the gap and the smoke is, will it allow for that? And no, Zipnix takes the bomber down. And that's key time. That bomb is on the floor here. They can keep delaying. 
and stop the plant from happening. Edward has to go for it. He's got no time, and they are going to be able to get position on him. Here it is. Zipnix around one side. Cajun B the other. Oh, but great shot there from Edward, and it's going to be Cajun B. Absolute chaos. And that round, if TSM makes a comeback, that this round was absolutely cru crucial because is winning an eco in that fashion and Cajun B also missing that shot on Edward. Just imagine if Edward would have clutched that round there. Yeah. You can see <laughs> just the tension here. And for those TSM. just tuning in, the loser of this map will actually go out of the tournament. Yeah. They will not make it through to the playoffs of the Face It LAN Finals Stage 1. Here we go, we got the mid push coming in Dupree moving all the way up there. Now, Edward actually is quite close. Potentially, Dupree could get a sneaky pick here. The flash is good, but Edward does back away safely. And look at that forward smoke there from Dupree. Very, very sneaky stuff. Edward, he's going to try to crawl through the smoke. He was spotted. Oh, wow. He actually survives this, able to back away. That is really, really important for Na'Vi. And if you look at the overview, I don't really know what Na'Vi is trying to achieve. Just... Yeah, just randomly pushes all over the map and Guardian just, just going down the carry there. Seize does get a, a uh, frag on to Dupree to kind of even the situation up a little bit. And the bomb is dropped towards A at the moment and 50 seconds left in this round. So Na'Vi still has plenty of time for Na'Vi at least to actually uh, draw things out a little bit. But Carrigan working this connector area and because there's no mid control here for Na'Vi, they can't really punish Carrigan from taking these free peeks up from stairs. Flamey finally gets the kill, but he's got to get such a wide peek. He's completely exposed, and TSM pick up an easy round. Yeah, and the frags Carrigan is getting right now, it's... They're so crucial. The three off frags this round, the P to 50 uh, frag last round in the vent room. He's just making up for all the mistakes he made on the cache. Yeah, he's definitely MVP at the moment for TSM. There's no, no doubt about it. Okay, so full eco here from Na'Vi, and potentially you've got Edward just sitting there, you know, so it's they're just, just having out. a chat and uh, seeing what they can get. Get uh, Maybe they can get some ideas in this little uh, little intermission. Yeah, because it's going to be 12-12 after this round, so it's tied, and TSM is CT, which is a very favorite, like, or pretty favorite side on this map, so uh, Na'Vi's in a lot of trouble right now. Especially considering TSM will probably win this round uh, flawlessly, which means TSM will have a bank to work with. Okay, so I mean, the only play here with this kind of weaponry is just like a fast plant, but the spray is brutal. All the bullets connecting from Dupree, pretty much. And it's going to be the round 12 12, as you said. So we are closing in very quickly here that both teams are tied it's hard to really draw a line between them but e economy wise TSM are favored now Navi in with a full AK buy one Molotov one seized two oh sorry uh, one on Edward as well and three four five smokes I, c I can count for it <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see if they try to go for an execution but it looks like they're just going for their standard play and we can actually see playing really our position there on the A side so here is middle for Na'Vi. They have a man in underpass as well, so options to take connector, to take short, to even boost up in CPL. All, all options for them. Zipnix, though, in ladder room, has a great position to try to deny any of these, these uh, players I just, uh, just highlighted. But they don't have anyone on connector. They could actually just walk upstairs, and they're going to take control of ladder room. Edward with the frag onto Zipnix. Now Na'Vi, man in connector, man in ladder room. This, this is a really good set of positions for them. Yeah, and enter frag, they have control of the venture, and they have connector, as I said. Um, this should be an easy round for now. The, the only thing I don't like about Navis play is that there are only two people going there, connector, and there's no yep. one going pallets. It's just one too many going through mid. The Achilles heal is if that player on sandwich just kills both of them. The bomb is now down on T-slope. That's, that's the worst case here on this push. And so Cajun B with a lot to do. He's got Dupree to run distraction a little bit. But Cajun B instantly taken down. So that's not going to happen. They should be able to get the bomb onto that bomb site. They should be able to smoke it off as well. Actually, all the smokes have been used so far now. And uh, Dupree still has uh, an open, open space to shoot from. Challenges being taken here by Device. But he's not going to get that one. Dupree picks up a nice one-on-one. -on -one. There's the second kill. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh! Dupree with one health! What a clutch there from him! 
absolutely massive from Dupree, stealing away that round. Navi had it in the bag, but TSM keep themselves in it, and that is going to lift the spirits of the Danes. Did you see he had one HP? One HP. But he's still alive. He's still standing and still fragging. Dupree. And the, oh my god, that will be that will destroy Navi. Just look, uh, yeah. Or they even forced an eco. Okay, they they can buy at least since they got the bomb down, but but no nades. Like how how can they go into this round like not having that round in the back of their head? It's gonna be tough, and it also means that TSM have full grenades. Full. Oh my god, a flamey annihilates Carrigan there. Ripping him to shreds, but Cajun B's got something to say on short as well. So frags across the map, four on four now. As uh, it's still very early. Flamey with that. Oh wow, there. Dupree's pushing T slope with no support. This is a big risk here from Dupree, but he picks up the kill on the seas, gets the bomb down as well. Massive stuff there from Dupree. The ro full rotation is happening right now. They know what's going on. They want to get a better set of positions here, but Zeus is going to be able to cut them off, and he's going to take down Device. So this is really. Really key, Dupree again. Needs to come out clutch. Sees the shadow, but Guardian still gets the shot on the peak. Great stuff there from him. But they're so low, two players sit now in Navi. Agent B moving towards Shadow. Maybe looking for the peak there. They have to get themselves up, but there's a smoke. And that's gonna kill quite a lot of time. There's 35 seconds left in the round. By the time that smoke goes away, it's gonna be like 15 seconds to get the bomb down. So they're gonna just go straight to B, but that's such a long sprint and Sipnix will hear everything. Sipnix is actually gonna cover the bomb Oh here. my god. As soon as Sipnix hear those two people running in the B house, he's gonna be so happy. Here they come. Sipnix goes with the spray straight away. Doesn't even wait for the second player to appear. And that's gonna delay them just a little bit. Ten seconds to get the bomb down. Yeah, he, he, he's actually gonna make this. This actually looks like now he's gonna win this round. Five seconds left. He's gonna get the bomb planted with two seconds left to spare. But there's the frag from Cajun B. Can he do what Dupree just did? He's got eight points of health. Du oh, Dupree. He's going to be disappointed there, not able to live up to his, his uh, glamorous previous round, and that's another one by Na'Vi. Oh my god, this game so is so close! absolutely killing me. And it just looked like Sipnik's spray there in B-House wasn't like absolutely on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like imagine if, okay, this is just if we would have just played it perfectly, just going down the stairs, just walking up behind them instead. Yeah, I mean, they would never yeah. check there. They were yeah. running, so they never ex they needed to plant the bomb, yeah. so he can wait. He can actually wait for them. Completely. Yeah. So yeah. that was that was he's definitely under a lot of pressure there, yeah. a lot of tension, a bit panicked. But they're still in this. 13-13, Carrigan's gonna get an early round advantage. Mid control for Navi again. Passive play from TSM. They've got a forward player. Dupree gets pop flashed in. Flamey gonna get taken out, so great stuff there. Proactive play here from TSM, able to stop any A plays from happening before they really get going. So what do Navi do now? They have just three players left. They've got short and CPL. It's almost as if they should save, actually. Like, they have to go for the weapon rounds, and uh, there's no way they can win this round. The only thing is Seized in this is in a really awkward position here. And it looks like they actually know that it's there. They might be able to get the drop on this nade out, and oh, he's going to spot that great stuff there from Seized. Now, this position's key. He can backstab everybody. Dupree's by Sandwich, though. The thing is that the no sees is there. That's just going to slow down the yep. rotation a little bit. The Sipnix has actually cleared the entire B house, so this should be a, a clean round for TSM. But Kerrigan oh actually. Oh my god. Sees actually goes straight through the vent into CT spawn. He's going to find Device. Device is going to turn around just in time. But oh, Dupree gets the spray down, so it's, it's all good in the hood there for TSM. Yeah, the key was Sipnix going aggressive B house, just walking down the two underpass, just getting so much information. I actually think that the guy there in, uh, at the ticket booth, like, he knew that he could have gotten fr uh, coming from Seed of Spawn. So Na'Vi now, they're on the brink of destruction, they're on this, this, uh, look at this buy that they have going for themselves, it is a jumble sale, completely, just armor, just random pistols, well, Tech 9's not very random, but they're pretty good, but they're still, they're pistols, lack of grenades, just one rifle on Seized. What are they going to do with this? Yeah, I'm like... Yeah, if they lose this round, it's at least a tie for TSM, so looks like they're going for a B execute. I wonder if they're going to use the smokes. I personally like to just go for it instead of using smokes, because the smokes telegraphs that you're coming, and uh, you don't want the see just to have those extra few seconds to rotate. And it actually might work. If you look how 
TSM is defending A right now. They're just so deep onto the A site, it's gonna take so long for them to rotate back to the B site. Cajun B's ready with the nade though. He's gonna pretend if he throws it now, it's perfect timing. I was a little bit late. Gonna have the rifle out now. First hedge found by Zipnix as Navi barrel into the bomb site. Cajun B with great angles, great fire, controlled, considered play from TSM. Wins them the round flawlessly. And Navi are now against a match point TSM. This one qualifies TSM through. This one is going to alleviate so much pressure because today you, you definitely could see that monkey was climbing up their back again. The monkey that is called, well, we all know its name. Yeah, and uh, especially them being down, like they have that game. Them being down one map versus Navi, like losing overpass 16 to 5 or something. And then coming back winning two maps in a row. It's just... Yeah, just a great performance here from TSM. But look at this, they've got two players on a Shadow basically, completely committed positions, and their teammates are gonna get smoked off here. So, gonna have to be a really big result. Dupree sees the, the, the nade thrown through the smoke, but all the players getting sprayed down for Na'Vi. TSM so close to doing this, it's just Zeus. TSM, Dupree, gonna finish it off 16 to 13, and TSM are through. Na'Vi eliminated here.